My name's Lisa Essex and I'm a Reuters Foundation trainer. And what positive hopeful elements did you see in the Bosnian trainees? I think the main thing that I noticed was the enormous amount of enthusiasm that these journalists show. They're passionately committed to their each individual specialization. And I think that that's something that really can be communicated to their potential students. If you have enthusiasm, if you have passion, people can sense that. And I hope that we've been able this week to give them a framework to put that enthusiasm and passion into so that they can communicate the knowledge to their trainees. Being back in Bosnia, how will that influence um, what they are able to do with what they've learned here? Um, obviously, the Bosnian context, it's a very young country at this point in terms of the development of its journalistic skills. I think um, at the moment they could become a real center for excellence so that people who perhaps have had a little bit of experience in journalism but really haven't quite managed to hone those skills, this is somewhere that they could come and find those experts and really perhaps find their voice and their voice for Bosnia and Herzegovina too. And what, if anything, would you focus on differently um, next time? Um, I think it's, it's, it's gone really, really well. I mean, of course, every course you, you wish it could have been longer. There are things that we had to miss out. I would have liked to spend a little bit more time on, on a development and coaching skills so that, you know, when you have um, a, a young journalist who is perhaps a work in progress, you can using a combination of skills, not just uh, teaching, not just training, but also mentoring, coaching, you can bring that person to their full potential. I, we didn't have as much time as I would have liked with that because obviously the opening of the program is really, really imminent, so we had to worry about the nuts and bolts of the first week. Um, but I think there's, there, there's certainly an area, as the program matures, for the maturing of the trainers as well. I'm Royston Martin. And you are a trainer today? Yeah, I'm an academic broadcast journalist and I've been working with the Sarajevo Media Center on a, on a training exercise. Great. And um, what positive, hopeful elements did you see in the Bosnian trainees? It's just been a lot of fun working with people who've got real commitment to the basic values of journalism and trying to spread those in their own country. And um, how will being back in Bosnia influence um, the trainees' ability and potential? Well, it's already a the, you know, very advanced standard of journalism in Bosnia. What we're hoping now with uh, the media center in Sarajevo is they can begin to develop some of the more specialist sides of journalism, you know, as their markets mature, such as that this particular course was specifically involved in investigative journalism, which is something that the media center in Sarajevo really feel is a strong need for. And speaking of this particular course, um, what would you focus on differently if next time? Um, there's a lot of great areas we can still develop into. Obviously, the convergence of media is going to be a key subject as we go forward. Um, there's a lot of work we can do with technologies. There's a lot of work we can do with spreading those technologies throughout the country. So there's a, a lot of very interesting um, avenues we can still explore once we've got this core foundation working correctly. Goran Todorovic. Sure, I was among those trainers who attended this uh, course, trainers, uh, training for trainers uh, within the European Journalism Center. Nedim Derizbegovic. Slobodan Kadekic. And my first question for you today is how did the training prepare you for your goals as a trainer when back in Bosnia? Well, all of us who participated already do have certain uh, experience in training uh, in a variety of the situations or in different countries. So this was a supplement to that and it was uh, good to compare our experience uh, with the materials uh, which European Journalism Center together with Reuters Foundation was able to offer to us. Uh, so it was good to put in, into perspe perspective uh, what we already know and what we still need to work on. So in terms of that, uh, it was really a good experience. Uh, it was lots of practical exercises, and I think that we all benefited from this uh, five-day session. Well, it helped me a lot, just like it helped my colleagues. It, it, it enabled us to, to uh, prepare for designing training uh, and delivering it, presenting and delivering it in, in, in a really uh, good, effect, uh, structured and, and effective way which in the end would, have, would be of uh, great use to, to participants, to the trainees. 
Well, actually, I'm not a trainer. I will be project coordinator, but I will be providing some of the workshops. And it was really uh, good and useful because uh, on each of these kind of trainings, you learn something new, no matter what your previous experience was. Uh, always can gain some, get some useful tips and uh, some new methods. So it was really good because it was adjusted to the journalists, to our target group for this program. So I find it really useful. Were there any new or surprising um, elements that you learned today? Well, I wouldn't say it was surprising. However, there are some new things uh, that I believe are going to help us a lot in the future assignments as a trainers. Uh, some materials that we didn't have access uh, to before. So I believe now it's uh, all together uh, complementary with uh, our previous knowledge and the new material and experience so we can use uh, all those elements in the future training sessions. Well, a lot of it was new, nothing surprising. We were here for train to, to be trained to become trainers, but what was useful was the whole process of, of designing and, and delivering training, uh, different steps. Uh, the, for some you think they're not useful, but in the end you see that everything uh, makes part of the whole. So the whole process was really, really the whole process of. Uh, designing training is really great. Great, thank you very much. And w what was the most useful or surprising or new thing that you learned throughout this session? Well, it's a, it's a good organization of the training, the structure of the training, and some of the topics that will be covered uh, in Sarajevo. Uh, I think we, we kind of got them presented in a in very, uh, very well manner, and that, that also can be used. Great, thank you very much. Thank you.